guys, I'm finally getting a new skateboard. <laughs> and these are not one of them. I'm getting a brand new skateboard. It's been a while since I've done a setup video and I need a new board right now. Hang out with me and let's put one together. We're gonna go to my online skate shop right here, which is physical. It's not online for me, it's real life. And we're gonna pick one out. You're gonna help me with this, okay? You're gonna talk through the screen and then we're gonna put it together and see if I can land a very good trick with it. I don't ride for three block, but I appreciate these decks. Should I? No, whoa, a lot of people scream no. Okay. Look at it. Yes, I heard a few yeses. Oh, whoa. I think it was somebody's mom. Really screamed no. Listen to your mom. The gift wrap board. I know everybody would have said yes to this, but it's not my size. Ooh, I do like the paint drops. Vestal? No. <laughs> Just kidding, I love you, Vestal. And I would skate your board. I have skated your board. Whoa, okay. It was weird because I heard a lot of yeses, but they were like the uh, in the in Toy Story, the claw, like all your voices. You were like, yeah. So I guess I'm gonna skate the air in Cairo. Uh, but just to show you guys, uh, all the pros have the paint dripness, and they're awesome, super super cool. Uh, which is funny, you know, I'm doing this, but we're about to get new skateboards in, so you're just gonna get to see new stuff either way. But right now, these are what we have, and I love these paint drips. All right, let's grip this and put it together. Here we are. It's so easy to grip your board that way. Don't ever actually do it, just use magic. Um, look at that grip tape job. We got a little skull and revive. All right, let's uh, go put the skateboard together and uh, I'm gonna talk about the first time I landed certain skateboarding tricks. Got my dude, my boy Blue, Aaron Cairo. I have probably told this story before, but I'm gonna start with the very first time that I did a kickflip. I wanted to kickflip so bad, I believe I was in front of a pharmacy who didn't care if we skated there, so that was nice. But I was trying to kickflip, and I don't remember what problems I was having. I just remember when I landed it. That's the only thing I remember. But I was trying and trying and trying, and my buddy came over, and he started talking to me. And mid-conversation, where's the front truck? I can just look. That's the front truck. Mid-conversation, I, I looked down, I performed a kickflip, and then I continued talking about whatever we were talking about mid-skate session, which is weird because not a lot of conversations other than skateboarding happen mid-skate session, but I was having a conversation with him. And it took me a good like 20 seconds to realize I just did my first kickflip. And I looked back up, I was like, I did it! And he could already kickflip. Like he was like one of the older dudes that had some skate wisdom. And by older I mean he was like a year older than me. So um he was like, Congratulations, young Andy, you've done it. And he was proud of me. And I was proud of me. I was super super psyched. Now my first set of stairs. Actually, I don't remember my first set of stairs, honestly. Is that is that that's terrible that I don't remember my first set of stairs. I remember my first handrail and that's what I'll talk about now. It was a six stair at the Wedge in Phoenix, Arizona and this was before the skate park existed. So this was just a park that they didn't care if you skated at and it had some stairs and it had some hubba, like a hubba and some handrails and banks. It was really fun. Still to this day is fun. Go skate the Wedge. And the six stair used to, it does, it's a hubba on the left now. It used to have a handrail and I was skating for like eight or nine months and I should not have been trying to no slide a six stair, but I I just tried it and I eventually did it and I rolled off the last stair. But when I, I was like, maybe I was skating for like 10 months, but it was like no more than 10 months. And when I did it, I was like just nothing. There's nothing like skateboarding guys. The, the, these moments that you create like before, like when you're learning to skateboard and when you accomplish something you didn't think you could do, it, especially at a young age, it is just the most, probably at an old age too, magical experience. So I, the footage existed somewhere. I don't think I have it today. Maybe if I really looked through all the old tapes, I could find it. But uh, yeah, I noticed a, a six stair and it was kind of a long six stair, but it was low, which is the only reason why I was trying it. And it had like a wall against it. So there was no like risk of me getting the rail between the legs. And it was the perfect thing to do hand around. I was just, I wish I could go back and <laughs> do that day again. It was so fun. All right, the next one is my first kickflip down a four stair. It was my old elementary school, and this is such a cool memory. I was there by myself late at night, just really trying, and it was like to me, kickflip a four stair was like bonkers. I don't, I don't remember when this was. This probably was before the the, the handrail part. But I was like, I, I progressed really fast. Like all I did when I started skating was skate. So like the first two years of skateboarding went by, and I was doing some pretty good things. I wish I progressed that fast these days, I don't. But I was really having a hard time on this kickflip. It's not the best roll up. And I sat down frustrated on the stairs. And I just had my head, like I was like taking a break. And the principal walked out, okay? This is a principal that I had just grown up with. Like first grade through sixth grade, my principal. And I, and I, I didn't, I mean, I had been skating there for like an hour probably. And they hadn't kicked me out. So I was like, I don't know if they're gonna say anything, but they might say, hey, you shouldn't do that here. But she said, 
you're getting so good, Andy. And she didn't know. She had no idea. Maybe she was looking at me through the, the window, but that meant so much to me. This is so, so cheesy, I know. That meant so much to me that she didn't know, but she was just like, you know, especially in a time that skateboarding was looked down upon. Like, people hated skateboarders back then, so some people hated skateboarders. But, like, they thought terrible things of us, so we were used to getting treated really bad. And um, she said that, and as, I didn't want to, like, skate right in front of her, so as soon as... I probably I said thank you, have a good night, or whatever. I was, like, a polite enough kid. As soon as she rolled away, I got on my board, and I landed it. Yeah. The very next try, dude, perfect. And I rolled str straight from that kickflip, just started pushing, skated right home my house in the neighborhood. Dude, it was so rad. So rad. Um, another, this isn't the first thing, so this is like a really cool skate story too. I had front board of a 13 stair, which is like the only handrail in my like, in my town that I grew up in. It was like, we had some dinky four stairs and stuff, and then there was like a 13 stair, which we called the slides of faith because it was huge and crazy and had a downhill roll up. It's not ideal to skate. Today it's kicked, you can't, I mean, you can't skate it unless you're insane. So I had front boarded it, and then there was a, um, Andrew Hutchinson, which is an old photographer, he probably still takes photos, but he used to shoot for Big Brother. He was in town, and he was shooting my buddy Sammy, and he shot Sammy on a double set, and then he was like, well, let's go to Slides of Faith, because Andy can do something too. So I'm with this photographer, we're skating this big 13 stair rail, and we don't have lights, and it's dark. I mean, this is my first time skating with a photographer that could end up in a magazine, so I was like, I'm doing it, and I couldn't see it all, and I didn't have a camera, so I have no proof of this, but there's photos of it, probably, he probably has photos of it, and I was trying the front board, I tried to like twice and it was just slipping out and I, I didn't die I survived I got to the bottom and then one of the tries keep in mind when he's flashing the lights at me because there's no lights like constantly lighting it up and when he's flashing the camera there's a burst of bright light so that's my light but it comes when I'm about to get into the trick very hard to get flashed in the face mid 13 stair handrail in the dark and I accidentally locked into a perfect front salad on a 13 stair handrail and <laughs> took it all the way down. <laughs> and then I jumped off. I didn't like try to stick it to the ground. But the whole 13 stair, I did a front salad on it. And then the guys that were there were like, oh yeah, you should just do that. I was like, I know I should just do that. I'm not good enough. I can barely board slide it. So, which I never did board slide that rail. I just front boarded it. Really? Yeah, I tried to 50-50 it. There's a famous clip. Look up how not to skate a 13 stair. It's me trying to 50-50 it. But I eventually ended the front board like a few tries later. So I probably took me like six tries and every try was the scariest thing of all time. It was so scary in the dark with the flash, but it was exhilarating. I honestly, I think I landed it that time better than the time that I actually filmed it. Like the first time I filmed it. And then with the photographer, there was no camera, which I don't know why. Like why, why do we have a camera? So there you go. There's just some skate stories. I, I don't know if you like that. I can go back to talking random random things about my life or whatever if you guys want, but we did successfully build a skateboard. We have the Aaron Cairo Drip Pro Model, Paint Pro Model, I don't know what it's called, whatever it is. Drip Series. Drip Series. I have these Thunder Trucks, which uh, are overdue. I've been skating these for a long time, and look. Funny facts. <laughs> so, Thunder are great. Yeah. It's nothing against Thunder. The, I have not had trucks in the last three years that all wheels hit the ground. I've replaced the bushings. I've, I've tightened the trucks, loosened them, but this is, this is just, this is really bad. I need new trucks. I'll get to it, okay? Um, and then we got some old force wheels. I think these are the Johnny Geiger raccoon mm -hmm. wheel. We still have those. We still have them in the mm -hmm. store if you guys want them. I think these are synopsis bearings. Ceramics. I got the nice ones, I think. And then I've got Revive Life Bolts right there. The, the two red on top can uh, show you where the front of your nose is, but with the Amgrip grip tape, I have the little cutout, so I kinda know always where my the nose is. But I got my little sticker. So this is the Amgrip OG grip tape. Doug Desitels, thank you for making great grip tape. That's it. I'll do a kickflip test, but I'm eventually gonna go try a three double flip on that double set, okay? That's the goal, people. Let's do the kickflip test, though. Bearings, look at this. Look, look at me zooming. All right, hold on. <laughs> kickflip test. My first movement of the day, I'll do another one. So that's like, is that just like no luck if you do a bad kickflip? I don't know. That's good. It's all right. So I played a game of skate with Alex. It was a good game. Yep. Well, you will never know who won, because we're not saying. Uh, kickflip, three flip, and then I'm trying to three double it. All right. You do them all in a row, you don't have to pay me this week. All right, good start. I can't even do it 10 in a row. I do that first try, but like just a few seconds ago in this video, I couldn't kickflip first try. Oh my. My check is getting diminished, this isn't it? This is one clip. This is one clip. 
Dude, that was, I, didn't, I don't think I popped that. You still did it. Dude. Sorry, I'm not. Don't be sorry, Everyone now I get paid. Everyone on the internet knows I'm not that cool. <laughs> I, th I thought you were gonna do I it. I thought I was for a second too. <laughs> nice, dude. Board feels fantastic. My foot does not feel good. Andrew! Oh, dude. That was it. That was it. That looked like it hurt. It took a while to get on my feet again. You're not, not even, even on my feet. feet. <laughs> I was ready, I just didn't know. The wheel hit me right there. So I will smooth that up another day. The last time I tried it, I did the exact same thing. I rolled away and touched. I'm just trying to land it, which I know I can, because I stuck it probably 60% of the time. Thank you guys for watching. This is a great feeling skateboard, and uh, I look forward to two more skateboard time on it. Brian, we have new skateboards coming soon, don't we? Boy, you'll see those when we have them in. But in the meantime, if you need a skateboard, we have you at theshredcourse.com. It's our online skate shop, it's on the other side of that wall. If you have a local shop in your area, walk into that place and support your local scene. They can always carry our gear. But if not, we're here for you. That's it, I'll be back with new videos all the time. Hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more. If you don't, go do something that makes you happy. And leave me in the dust. Maybe leaving me in the dust makes you happy. Maybe dust makes you happy. Maybe me makes you happy. If so, subscribe. Happy, whatever. Run at me! Run at me! Run! Run! You run all the time! Land the kickflip! <laughs> he could have done that. He, sh he should have left on faith. But he did do it. And there he runs.